Washington State is thrilled to have our military spouse community within the state of Washington. Some military spouses come here on a PCS with their service member and they are here just for an assignment and they leave and go to the next state. And what we want is their time in Washington to be productive for them and their family. We're very fortunate to, to be able to have a military spouse liaison within the Washington Department of Veteran Affairs because even though I have staff located on or near the five military installations in our state, um, that, that is a lot of spouses to try to make that connection and try to educate those spouses um, while those staff are also trying to serve those veterans and spouses um, outside of the military base. Uh, the military spouse uh, can be a difficult customer to reach. Uh, they're, they're on a military base where a lot of our staff don't have access to gain access to the base. And um, it's really important that uh, we've got that support from Washington Department of Veteran Affairs to help communicate to those spouses that we're available and very eager to serve them and help them meet their career goals. Hello, my name is Shanna Gross. I am a military spouse. We are going through the PCSing right now. Um, this whole thing has been very stressful. I reached out to the military spouse liaison and she has helped me tremendously. Hi, my name is Haley and I am a military spouse. I've been married to my husband for the last eight years and he serves in the United States Army. Yes, um, the greatest obstacle for me has definitely been childcare. Um, trying to find childcare that is accessible and affordable for my four children um, has been an immense challenge um, just due to the needs of the Army and constantly um, never knowing my husband's work schedule, it's really hard to pair up childcare. The veteran is not just one single person. We're looking at the family unit for the success of our military family. There's a lot of resource and wading through it and knowing as a military family and as a military spouse what is right to take advantage of and what will really suit their needs um, is sometimes difficult to navigate. And so we are great collaborators at WDVA and we're great at um, kind of combining resource and making it available and, and communicating it to the population. We, we need that symbiotic relationship with Washington Department of Veteran Affairs uh, to, to not only be that bridge to make connections with those spouses and, and family members to help them meet their employment and educational goals, It's important to include spouses in our mission of serving those who serve for a number of different reasons. Number one, our spouses have sacrificed so much and because of their sporadic employment across uh, the different deployments and uh, assignments that our military members have had, uh, they don't have a good military, uh, they don't have a good employment history uh, just because they move so much. Some of them once every couple of years. And therefore, when they come to Washington State, we want to make sure that they are ready to be able to, as they leave military service and choose Washington State as their uh, home of record, that they are prepared to be able to have a very good landing in our civilian community. I am a medical assistant certified in Indiana, so I had to get my certification in Washington State. She put me in touch with a military liaison from the health department there in Washington, and they expedited my application. It has been a big relief. They've helped me tremendously. She's also helped me with schooling questions and putting me in contact with the people that I need to be in contact with, housing questions. It's just been a big relief. She has helped me a ton. I appreciate it. I connected with the military spouse liaison um, due to needing to find out or wanting to find out um, how I would go about switching from my master's in social work program to a teaching program. And the military liaison, um, they helped me be connected to OSPI and also um, uh, military liaison for a school that I'll be attending this fall. Yeah, I would love to just empower 
any military spouse that um, finds obstacles in their lives or feels like maybe they need help um, with guidance on how to reach their own career um, potentials um, to reach out to the military spouse liaison and see what kind of um, resources are available to our spouses here in Washington. We are excited to welcome them and help them make their next move on their career path and help their family continue to grow and thrive. When, when we invest on a veteran, we need to make sure that we're also looking at the family because it's all one ecosystem. And when the family has the financial, uh, physical, and emotional health, I call that the three uh, legs of the stool, all together, then we have a successful family that is not going to need as much of the social services network that we have in the state and are going to be self-sufficient and will have quality of life.